Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Velkov support here in Season 12 League of Legends. Velkov support is easily one of the best carry damage support champions in the game, similar to playing a Brand or a Zyra, except you have considerably more range than Brand or Zyra with multiple of your abilities. All Velkov's abilities are long range. What's gonna win you games on this champion is proper positioning, and the second thing is constant surveillance of the minimap. Whenever you can, you want to be looking on the minimap. That's going to save you from dying, save you from getting flanked, ganked, all that type of stuff. Because you, you do have the most range. Ultimately, if you just know what's coming, you win by default because of your range advantage. The toughest things for Vel'Koz to deal with are champions that have absurd engage potential. Things like Rakan, a Malphite, a Scion R, that type of stuff can be pretty frustrating. But in terms of getting outranged, not even Zerath really outranges you if you're shooting your Qs diagonally we took the support item spell thief's edge so we don't really want to last at these minions we'll let our ad carry get those i got pressure of over that bush with my q you can cancel your q at any time to shorten it that'll give you a little bit of space on it so it threatens them if they try to run past it and you shorten your q they'll take a lot of damage you'll apply your mana flow and your arcane comet and all that fun stuff if you hit the enemies three times with your abilities, they'll take bonus true damage. That's your passive. Every single one of Vel'Koz's abilities does damage, including his passive. So there we shortened our Q, still ended up missing. Level two, if they have an engage support you want, your E, since they don't, I'll just take a W. I'm pretty sure this bush is warded. If it's warded, your champion will automatically auto attack things that are close like this. I'm not even clicking. If it's not warded, your champion will automatically auto attack. So we know it's warded. Got the Lux there. You usually want to try to shoot the person who has the least sustain. Since Ash has triple potions, uh, poking her over the Lux isn't the most optimal. There I fired my Q in midair right as one of their minions was dying. It's got to be sneaky with your skill shots. Usually you do it when they go into last hit. So there, she's going into last hit. We shorten it, hit her with a Q. I haven't used our W yet because the range is pretty short and its damage is low unless you land your E. Your W has two parts, the initial impact and the secondary uh, basically explosion. So if you miss that, then uh, you're getting very little damage off. So it's usually like a Q, W, E, something along those lines. We've got that on the Lux there. If, if Ash turns, she's going to get blown up. She took some serious damage. And we kind of need to get a ward down here. We shorten it, we hit her. It's all about where you're standing is how you land your Qs. Launching a W, I'll get vision of this bush here in a second. Oof, that was a rough Q. I thought we were past that minion. Okay, we see Graves' top side. That gives us space to play with here. Your W does go through minions, so if they're playing on top of minions, that's a great way to still hit them. Do keep in mind you'll be pushing the wave if you do that, obviously. Got her with a WE there. It was going to land, so she had to blow flash. That's good for us. I needed to tighten that up. Obviously, Lux wasn't going to follow that in since we had minion advantage and Aphelios there. It's my bad. I want to get my mana flow, so I'm going to walk up, hit her with a W. It's easier to land than AQ, especially when minions are in the way. Since minions are going to end up blocking you out. Launch that through the crack of the minions. We're getting lots of mana flows. Once you're below half mana or half HP, that's when you want to use a biscuit. It does more the lower you are. We pushed her off that minion. Almost got the hit as well. We're shoved up, though. We do need him to our AD carry to ward. Since we're playing this far up the lane. You want to back them up when they go for this. Since it's a dangerous situation. You do generally want your AD carry to tank for you though. Because you'll usually be out damaging them on Vel'Koz. And Vel'Koz doesn't have any great reposition tools. Probably going to be resetting here soon. I'll go ahead and take a potion just in case. Ash has a decent amount of mana. We can pressure Bush. If they don't have this warded. Then they have to respect that I could be towards the tip. So they're backing off. We're keeping an eye on the mini map. I want to hit her with my mana flow and my support item. Nice. And keep trying to take control of the bushes if you can. 
We're gonna keep sitting in here, get her with an EW, get our passive damage on her. I didn't use my second W because I knew we weren't gonna be able to hit her with both sides of it, so it was kind of whatever. At this point, we do want to back, so I'll just W the whole wave. I want to get out of here, don't want to be here anymore. We're too low on health to really stay. It's getting risky. Plus, we've gotten a crap load of gold from our support item. 434, enemy Lux has only gotten 215, that's nothing. She's gotten half of the gold we've gotten. First item rush, usually looking to go for Ludens or Yandri's. They don't have any tanks, so Ludens would be best here. I'll go ahead and pick up this, and we'll pick up that, and we'll sell the potion and get this. Refill is a great item on Velkaz. You can use it throughout the duration of the game. Since you're not taking much damage, you can get away with just a refill. You don't need any self-healing items on Velkaz. If they have an all-in assassin-style champion like Diana or Zed, then uh, Crown is good. If they have a bunch of tanks, Leandre is good. In general, if they're just a very neutral comp or squishy, then you're going to want Ludens. They don't really have a true assassin on their team, so which should be fine and not have to go crown. Luden speeds you up when you land your abilities, which is nice. Get that big speed up bonus. I'm gonna go ahead and dump the wave. We applied our passive to the cannon. Both sides of your W applies a passive stack and then obviously your Q does as well. Takes three procs to apply the passive extra true damage. And your passive helps you maintain the stacks on them, but that's not that important. It looks like our Aphelios never actually backed. That puts us in a bad spot. I'll finish shoving the wave just so it resets. But you really should have uh, probably just finished shoving it there. That way I could go in for a proper roam. Don't usually roam on Velkaz unless you know where the enemy bot lane is. I knew they'd back, so it was pretty safe. This area is warded. Uh, I don't want a lay control word. The only lay control word normally neutral or offensively if you have good wave control my ad carry isn't here right now so if i laid it neutral the enemies could easily break it so we, we would have to lay it very defensively or just hold on to it so i'll just hold on to it got him she doesn't have boots neither one so they'll be easy to land stuff on here i am gonna lay this offensively i'm level six so i think it's worth Yeah, down she goes. I only did since I was six and she wasn't because we could do that. If they were willing to fight me there, I'd let him get some licks on me and then I could turn on it. I shortened it. I thought she would step back into it. I probably should just let it keep going since I had minion damage in Aphelios. The odds of her running back into it were very slim. I didn't hit her there. It's a little surprising she went for that. We had too much HP. Maybe she thought I was going to take turret aggro, but I was sitting just on the outside. It seemed like she tried to time her R with me poking her under turret. It didn't pan out for her, though. Absolutely did not pan out. Pop Biscuit got a ward down since we're past the halfway point in the lane. Very important. Looks like Graves is top anyway, so maybe it was for nothing. <laughs> Hit her with a WE. The Q sets up the E pretty much every time since the Q slows. It makes it much easier to land your e-skill shot. We want to shove the wave so we'll help our AD carry push this. And whenever you auto the turret, you get your support item gold. Autoing turrets are damaging champions. We'll hit her with a WE. Every time they let you land a Q, it's an opportunity to E unless you're not able to because they have way too much pressure or they're way farther ahead than you are. You may wonder, why not take Electrocute on Velkaz? For the majority of lane phase, you don't really have the opportunity to uh, land triple abilities. For the majority of early lane phase, you're only going to be landing like raw Qs at best. So it's just kind of pointless to take Electrocute on him. Arcane Comet sets you up to have full pressure HP advantage. My R is up here in a second and then this Lux dies. Oof, that was so close. Just need a R. Graves took Carol, so he's topside. We should be safe. We have bush control here. I can get in here. I'm going to sit near the back. A little nervous about the locks. Oh, 
Lux might be able to kill me with her R if she used it. It would have been close since she's behind. Got them pretty dang low. I'd say Velkaz does play best with uh, poke AD carries, things like Ezreal and Jin. He can play really well with the help set up his abilities. You can also play Velkaz as an AP carry, similar to seeing a Ziggs bot lane. You do have that option. A big reason for that being whenever your Q kills something, it restores a huge chunk of mana. It restores half of your Q. So just killing one thing with your Q, giving you back half mana, and your Q is already a very cheap mana ability, 55 mana at the max rank or at close to max rank is very 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 low we should have actually bought boots here i'm gonna buy boots right now that was troll of me so yep i'm pretty sure you can kill like three minions with your q since there's the initial impact and then the two splitters with that being said uh so you should be able to refund back the full mana of your q or even have extra i'm not sure if it lets you but i know for a fact killing one minion gives you back half mana which is nice and then obviously your W just applies two stacks of your passive. Your W goes through minions over all your abilities go over walls, obviously, but your W goes through everything. Even you also win wall. And your E, big knockup. You usually need to land a slow on them, whether it's your exhaust or your Q to land the E. And then your R you use once you land a Q or an E. You generally want to land an ability before you R, because if you land an ability first, it makes your R do true damage, which is spicy. If they've been damaged by uh, your passive, then your art is true damage. So usually it's a Q, E, W, R, and then they absolutely melt. Like there, Ash pretty much just died. And we can hit a refill and we're good to go. And we need a split off. Kept an eye on the minimap. Max our W second. Wow, that did. In my opinion, that didn't hit me, but who am I? Ashar looked way off target. Got the Lux with the Q. Thinking about R and R. It's a little dicey. Hope Lux turns on someone so I can get some kills here. Nearly got the Graves. I'll flop this over the wall. Ooh, this is not safe at all <laughs> yet yeah, i kind of had that coming i was playing so far up with low hp i knew if i could land one q i could pop that into an r and your r applies multiple stacks of your passive so pretty much one q r you can apply your passive it's really nice my bad got a little bit greedy can nearly afford our full loons tempest on velkaz you're usually looking for sork shoes or lucidity so both a great option Kind of prefer Lucidity since they're cheaper. Plus, most of your damage is true damage off your passive and your R if you're using them properly. So, I think Lucidity's here as support is usually going to be better because we're not getting to last hit minions. Our gold income is very, very low. Therefore, early mid game having the Lucidity's should do us better. Also, we should buy Oracles by now. Bonk. Oh, we still have our offensive control ward down. That's beautiful. <laughs> it's really funny that we still have that. I need to get some better wards down here. Hey, Lux. She's kind of pushing up as I'm pushing out here. That's making me nervous. Makes me think there are junglers in the area. Yeah, I'll just R. That's the beauty of QR is your Q slows him and then your R does the rest of the work shorten it these people do not run forward i mean the odds of them running forward are slim if you're ahead so like think of it like 30 percent chance they run forward but still these guys like never run forward on me i'll just let it go max range i guess oh god cooped it in the dark nice pop some refills here ash loves trying to r us hit her with the geometry let's go Some solid damage. Just trying to kind of scare Graves away. I don't want my AD carry to get himself killed. Leeson starts the dragon. I'll help shove this wave with my autos. Oof. She just ate an arcane common there. What is Lux stepping up for? Oh, we gotta help Lee Sin. 
just he just R'd. He just oh my gosh. Lux outplayed me. Also, Lee Sin outplayed me too. Boom. We're chilling. Geometry attack. Oh, still almost got her. Pretty sure you can wall. Nice, we did it. We warded the bush all the way from over here. It's not easy to do, and sometimes you'll goof it. It's worth the try, though. If you got time on your hands. Ooh. I need to get a more forward ward. I'm pinging Aphelios to come mirror me a little bit. He's He did mirror me a little bit. I'll give him some credit. That's good. I want this pushed ASAP. We don't see anyone on the map, but we have really good vision. As long as we keep a close eye on the main map, we should be able to... Ooh, they're TPing. Run, 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 run. I saw that TP almost immediately. Oh, yeah, that sucks. I couldn't move. I got slowed by an Ash volley, like right when the TP started. So even though I saw it super, super early, just couldn't get away from that one. It is what it is. So one of the biggest downsides to Velkaz, you do have the most range in the game, pretty much. You have one of the highest damages in the game. Your passive does damage, Q does damage, W does damage, E does damage, and your R does. All of the above are also AOE damage. However, you don't have a single speed up or dash in your kit. That is where uh, things feel bad. So, oh man, that sucks. Good TP by the Lissandra. We know that's down for, how long is this cooldown? Four minutes? So it's up in like 21 minute mark. We need to play with that in mind. Now that it's down, it gives us a lot more freedom. Knock this guy away, hit him with a W. Got to get my Q in there. Walled them off pretty well, Singe gets the double, beautiful. Graves is definitely dead. Wait, why am I tanking the turret, what the heck? We ran out of minions faster than I anticipated. We'll get a deep ward there over the wall. I'd like to get one on the other side too. I'm low on help and Ash probably has R. I gotta play back behind a teammate or a wall. There we go. Thank you, Lux. We'll give Ash a little sizzle sizzle. She panic flashes. I definitely couldn't kill her there. I didn't have the damage since most of my R had uh, faded at that point. I'll let this wave keep pushing to us. That way I don't have to step up. I was thinking about dropping a sideways Q on these bad boys, getting all my mana back. It'd be better if we didn't. We don't have any vision on the map. Stepping up to ward is dangerous right now. They'll cause you generally always want a teammate in front of you. So I'll just lay a really defensive ward there. Yeah, Trindomir is looking for a flank. Ooh, nice. We got a double Q. That's beautiful. That area is warded. My hockey got messed up because I changed my hotkey outside of league on my mouse button, so my hotkey's messed up for showing an area is warded. That area is warded over there. Get a ward over here. I think we've got the whole left side warded out pretty much. Boom! There goes half her health. <laughs> Wish I had R. She tries to run, almost got her with the geometry. We have so much mana, we can afford to just throw these out like they're nothing. 4.5 four second cooldowns, very, very low. Ooh, got him, nice. Got her with EWQ. I'm gonna have them flash away. Still died, I, I honestly didn't see the Trindomir. Sounds weird to say, but <laughs> I didn't see him. I definitely could have ended up living there. Good hourglass by the Lissandra. I didn't realize how hard the team was struggling because I feel like we've been ahead and doing well this game, but Cass is 0-4. Our AD carry is actually 2-3. and three. We since 1-5. The enemies are up 18 kills to 10. I think we can still carry this, though. But I just need a little bit better positioning. Second item, I, you got to get hourglass if you're getting killed. If, if you have... Even half as many deads as kills, you have to get hourglass second item on Velkaz. 
they'll spend so many resources getting to you that if you can hourglass it you're good to go also we need to get uh, you don't want stealth ward once you have four free wards it's really pointless we'll get a farsight alteration or a uh, oracle lens it's fine we need to fight with singe in front of us i think Cass is rage split pushing right now I think Trindamir can match him, but no one else on their team can. Trind R is kind of OP. Singe goes in without me. Finn gets a single kill out of it. Lee Sins love going in by themselves. I just need to hit this guy with one Q and he's dead. I can't see Diddly squat. I'm kind of scared of the Lissandra. Want to get down a forward ward. Once again, you try to keep a teammate in front of you. It's as forward as I'm willing to go. Yeah, it sucks. Trainer is a massive issue. He can spend all of his HP getting to us. And if we don't have a teammate there, he can just kill us with his R. Still think we can carry this. I just had to be more disciplined and pull off there. As tempting as it is to face blast people with abilities as they chase us, if it's Trindamir, it just doesn't work. Just doesn't work. I was thinking about using my locket. It wouldn't have accomplished anything because he could have just walked away and Lissandra would have killed me. If you want to play support where you don't have to worry as much about getting caught out, you pick something with high mobility like a Rakan or Pike. Then when you're at a position that you don't, won't die, but Pike doesn't scale very well compared to something like a Velkaz. Jeez, got him eventually. Singe might be able to run her down. It's pretty quick. He lands the glue. Down she goes. We really needed that gold too. It's gonna make a big difference. And now we're gonna just follow Singed. He's the key. Or not, yep. Yeah, suck on that Trindamir. Hit him with the slow. We hit him with literally everything. Question is, will it be enough? The answer is, it is enough. <laughs> he killed my 80 carry. We landed knockup, we landed slows. We landed exhaust. It just that champion's so cancer right now. Need something like Poppy to stop him. Don't have a good word for that spot. Someone's probably gonna come for Singe. I'm hoping this area isn't warded. Yeah, we'll pull off here. We need Singe to be in front of us. We can't be the front for him. Yeah, it looks like he wants to reset. That's fine. We got to pull off. Our ult's down anyways. Getting a lot of value out of this oracles. None of these bushes are warded. Looks like we're going back mid. We don't have a turret here, so I'm not a huge fan of this. Just as long as we position, though. Singe is so low, he's not going to be able to do much here. Oof. Got her with the AoE on Ludens, at least. Trindamir stepped up. That's scaring me. Yeah, he's looking for a way in. And he found it. He's a huge issue for our team. Hoping Lux steps up for a deep ward. Got her flash. If I would have art, I don't think we'd have been able to kill her. The flash was just too spicy. Gone fishing with Qs. We're still super far behind as a team. We have 12 out of 17 KP. So we're still in it. Still in it. This game's gonna slow down a lot. Whenever you play a Vel'Koz or a Ziggs, 
it stalls the games out really hard. If your team's behind, it makes it very difficult for the enemies to shove because just a few Qs and two Ws, and you've wiped the whole wave by yourself, not to mention your R. Even if they have a Giga Wave, you could R the whole thing down. Cast out of position, big surprise. He goes on the split, gets soloed by Graves. Cassidy, who's behind, really doesn't give much value. I got a backup. Ash can blow me up here. I got to break vision. We're also the only person up on the map right now. Our W cooldown's gotten pretty gush during low. It is a 8.75 second recharge time right now from 11 seconds. That's something right there. We'll go Morello. Yeah, do we want Morello? Yeah, we'll go Morello. Yeah, at least we want to pick up Oblivion Orbit if they have several self healers. Trindamir can self heal with his Q. Graves is self healing with his fleet and his shield bow. Ash is self healing with her shield bow, so. Oblivion will give some really solid value here, even if we decide not to get the Morello. After that, usually looking to top off your ability power with a uh, Robadon and Horizon or Shadow Flame. Against them, I'm thinking Shadow Flame. Suck on that, Lissandra. Oh, this is warded. That's lame. Oh, that was a bad cue. I needed to just let it fly. Hey, buddy. I actually, believe it or not, I actually almost killed her there. You just couldn't see it because she was out of vision. <laughs> you, I know you don't believe me, but try. Do it for me. Get down so many defensive wards. Oh, this is just so much. We're behind a wall now. This is a pretty good spot. We get off a decent queue over the wall. We're going to try to get to this cast and save him. Oof, never mind. He's dead. Never mind. Oof, that's some decent damage, though. Sin's just thinking about going in. He just hasn't committed yet. We landed something big there. I felt it. God, Cinch is melting like butter. I canceled my R early because I could feel Lux breathing on the back of my neck or the front of my neck there. I, I felt a snare incoming. I probably should have just held the R and flashed out of it. That would have probably been a better move. Oh, it's such good damage. We'll definitely be the highest damage. Deal. Ooh, just, oh my dude. I had Hourglass Flash in exhaust. He killed me with no joke, one auto attack in his item. <laughs> oh my God, that's so stupid. <sighs> Trinity was such a threat. He's sitting going in by himself. You love to see it. If they get Dragon Soul, I don't think we can win. We're really going to have to make something happen on next drag fight. I might just try to smite the Baron myself. I have very little faith in this Lee Sin. He just hasn't shown me what I need to see. Absolutely not. Can go for the Hextech, Hextech Alternator. I say we finish off Morello and then we'll grab Robidon. We're not dying for a lack of damage. We're dying for margin for average positioning slash Trindamir is eating us alive because he's giga fed and he can kill me in one auto attack. <laughs> mm. Looks like they might be trying to set up a Baron. Wish Singed would have gone in for the fling there. Would have been nice. Oh, Chindamir is such a yucky. Hit him with the W tipper. Second part of your W does even more than the first. That's why the first part seems like it does nothing. Because it does very little. We are the 
farthest person up on our team. We have no one playing frontline right now. That's exciting. They could have just kept shoving that wave and there's nothing we would have been able to do. Been very little. They don't know where I am is the good thing. Cash should be able to run these guys around a bit. Nice, he timed out his R, that's good. He didn't double stack it, so he's not wasting too much mana. He's going the wrong way though. He's running, he should have just gone towards their base, towards top side. He's gonna run into trend, I think. We'll drop the R. Ooh, look at that damage. I'm gonna flash. Screw you, trend. Yeah, you like that, buddy? Buster Brown? Oh, I know he likes that. Get him, cast. Teach him a lesson. <laughs> Jenner's faster than cast. Good grief. Hey, Lux, where are you going, friend? Only way I can survive Trent is if we have both our sums up and he runs into us. Still almost had us. All right, let's get this turret. We did a good job landing our abilities on the Saunders. She was coming out of TP, forced out her hourglass and all that stuff. I know Ash can arm me here. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. Throw out a QW. This is warded, of course. That's exciting. Oh, dragon's coming up too. That's not as. That's not really what I wanted. I wanted to reset from Morello. Got him with the R. Oh, we hit him with so much damage there. I really hope Leeson smites this right. I have a feeling Leeson is not going to actually smite this. Okay, he did. Thank goodness. Because that was soul. If we didn't get that, that would have been game, I'm afraid. Geometry failed me this time. Singed going in ham. Blows his ghost. Gets Lux flash. That's decent. Flash is a much longer cooldown than ghost. He does not have Merc Treads. He definitely needs it for their team. Merc Treads is kind of essential right now. Let's get this chick with some geometry. Would have had her if you didn't uh, mess up my math. My mathematical moves there. Third leap. Shortened it on her. Suck it. Trin's looking for a dirty fat flank. He's gonna push up into this in this area. I can't block it on my own. So I'll just ping it. We're stalling this game out. They still have a ridiculous amount of kills over us. They have 12 on us. Kind of crazy. Oh man, that's not good. I don't have any real good vision on this. Got him! He didn't press R because he's a noob. He thought he was allowed to live. <laughs> Woo! Hey, we're landing bombs, baby. Let's go. Trend players, I'll tell you what. I've dueled with a lot of trend players in my time. I'll tell you right now, they never want to use their R. They'll cut it down to like the last... 80 HP. We, we caught him out though. Our W, if you look at Velkaz W, it comes out instantly. It's frame for frame. It starts out underneath him. I think it might have a travel time in terms of the end, but frame for frame, like the start, it comes out like really, really quick. And uh, I don't think he was expecting that. Oomph. Yeah, we'll wrap up build with a Rabadan. We could sell boots and get uh, probably Dead Man's. Something like that. They're not really giving us much value. Boot, tier, tier two boots or more of a early mid game item. Late game dead man's force of nature are substantially better. They give way more stats and they, I believe they make you faster as well. Like compared to boots, comparatively, not just, <laughs> not in any other distinction. <laughs> Obviously they make you faster, but I, just, I mean specifically compared to what boots could do. All right, I panicked and canceled my R because I shot her holy arrow of 
death at me. Run, my children. I can't save you from Trindomir. He's got a GA now, too. He's going to be really hard to kill. Jeez. Lee Sin wasted his R. He needed to hold that. We're landing some big Qs. I'm throwing out some defensive Ws because I don't like this fight. My R's on cooldown. I just want them to leave. And I'll leave they shall. Singe is on the split. I don't think I've really used my hourglass this game. I've used it like once. It did pay off in that one use case. It's just... The only person who can get to me is Trin. With the Lissandra dash, I can see it coming and drop a fat steaming warm load on her face or whatever. You know. You know how it is. So she can't really do anything. Trin to me can though because... Uh, Gale Force is an item. He has Trin Dash plus a free Lucian Execute Dash in his kit now because of Gale Force. We'll clear the bush out with Q. We know there's nothing in there. I'll eat some fruities while we're here. Bunch of goofballs, man. We need to get into a bush and have him walk into us so we win. He had to R really early there. Oh my god. I'm gonna flash. Jeez, that was ridiculous. Graves got obliterated though. We need to get back for dragon, so I'm gonna ping that out like a crazy person and reset. Really, 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 really need this dragon. I'm hoping Trin's uh Guardian Angel's on cooldown. I don't think it is. If it is, though, we might be able to push him away from it. We just need to pull Dragon out away from this bush. He can use the Dragon to body to like body block my Qs really easily. Dragon has a massive hitbox. It's hard to push my Qs around those in a meaningful way. Qs your main source of damage on this bad boy. Jeez, he's already in here. Yeah, he. How are we gonna push past that? They just got dragged, so that sucks. It is just an Ocean Soul. Luckily, we have the correct item to fight that. The Morello Heal Cut will do wonders versus it. it just sucks that they get that for free. Kinda sucky. The next fight is gonna just be determined on if Trindamir can get in on us or not. If he can't, I can keep their team at bay and they'll need Baron buff to uh, shove in this wave. We can throw out W's and kite back. As long as we have distance, we can clear these pretty easily. Didn't even need to use my E. Almost got him with geometry there. I know that feels good, Trindomir. Why don't you keep standing there, buddy? He's super low. I hope we team fight off this. Got Lux Flash. That's something. Turn it sideways, land Q AoE. Cast is waiting for us to push them into him. I think he's going to get it. Shorten my uh, Q. Link got the slow. Cancel R. Oh my god, he flashed on me. I don't know where this guy is. Just throwing out abilities. Trindamir went somewhere. He, got, he definitely got spooked. This is warded. They know exactly where I am. I have to pull back. Trinder's back to full health because red buff and drag soul. Shorten it on him. Hey, we're landing the damage on this guy. He's on our wolves right now. I can feel it. I can smell the stink on him. <laughs> we have 20 out of 27 KP as support. <laughs> Uh, with oh man <clears throat> the only way i can see us winning this game is if we get drag soul i mean if we get eldar eldar beats drag soul every day of the week this robin on death cap is going to make such a big difference so we have 343 ap now we have 544 that was a 200 ap bump <laughs> that's freaking huge 
Vilkas has such good scaling on his R. It's 125% scaling. If you can keep stacking that. Maybe get Cosmic Drive, sell our boots for it since it gives AP and uh, movement speed. Looks like they're going to get Free Baron. That's exciting. At least in staying true to his legacy of just going in by himself to die. Like an aggressive sperm. Only way is forwards. Cast. Run, dude. That was bizarre the way Cast kited that out. Just kind of just stood there and ate autos to the face. Oh, baby. From downtown, it's Kobe. I'm the evolved Kobe. I'm, uh, <laughs> should probably just leave it there. That's a, that's a touchy subject with uh, what ended up happening, but it is what it is. Trindamir ate a Q to the face. Tragic ending for a tragic champion. Graves on the split. Killing Trin there it's just stalled the game out so hard though. We might be able to get Eldar eventually and then win the game. Reduce gold from lane minions. I get reduced gold from lane minions. I'm already full build. Doesn't really matter. That's because we have the support item. We apparently took too many minions. I'm at a whopping 58 CS right now. That's too much. There is a support minion rule. God King GGP put that in place after he welded me in my apartment and put my social credit score at zero. <laughs> you farm too many minis. They should just call it your social credit score. <laughs> oh man. Gotta keep these guys at max range. Now that they've used dashes, we're going for the big tippy. Boom, down she goes. While the enemies have a punch cocked, they still have their dashes, smashes and all that. You just throw out Q's and W's. Once they've blown their way to kill you, then you can go in for the E like I did there. I held on to it for a little bit. Because if they have their dash, there's no reason to force out an E. Because they'll just dash past it, dash over it, through it, whatever. Yeah, he's just rushing down the turret. What a freaking dirty butthole. What a dirty man. I'm getting five gold from these minions. How absurd. <laughs> five gold. <laughs> like, bro, I'm playing support. Why Why do support mains have to struggle like this? <laughs> Trindamir is the only person alive right now. And he can kill me in two autos if he's full rage. Because he'll have 100% crit. We need a ward over this wall. Oh, there he is. Got him. That's a Lissandra TP right there, you freaking goofballs. I exhausted her. Praise the Lord. Got a W on her face. Yeah, suck on those nuts, boy. Got him in midair, boy. Hit him with anything. Hey, wait, he's still alive. Wait, why won't he die? Die, you son of a gun. He's actually still alive. I think his GA came up right as I was pushing it in there. As I was pushing my power and he was feeling my... Raw strength. His GA kicked in. That was dirty. Uh, probably sell boots now for Cosmic. Can't quite afford it. Wow, is Trindamir gonna solo that? I feel like they should make objectives to where no one can solo them. Like Dragons and Barons. For Baron, whoever's tanking it does half damage. I feel like Eldar should be the same way. It's just very disgusting to see this tiny, puny shrimp of a man. This little guy over here killing it when it's like 50 times bigger than him. It's just some real bizarre stuff. I would I'd like to see it actually take a while. 
like him winning the fight through life still rather than oh he just kills it in 15 auto attacks that's just me though don't really have vision of anything since should absolutely not be going top right now yeah he just realized that he's coming over here <laughs> We're going for geometry shot. Completely missed. Yeah, they got the Eldar there. I think our team might win the fight though. Yeah, baby, let's go! <laughs> Woo! It panned out. They they have soul, they have Eldar. We still win the fight. I would like to think we played a large role with our AoE, but uh, I feel like we've done more in previous team fights and lost them. So I feel like in this one, our teammates just pulled a lot of weight that time, which I am happy for. We'll get Cosmic Drive. So tier two boots, we're moving 398 right now. So let's sell these. Now we're moving 369. That is a lot slower, actually. I'll just hold on to them. I think that's it, though. I think we win. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this Veil Cause support carry guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Looking at damage dealt to enemy champions on support Veil Cause, having the least gold in the game, we dealt the most damage by a nice little margin. Looking at damage taken, we hadn't taken really that much. Very similar to the Lux in comparison. For runes, Arcane Comet had done a nearly whopping 5,000 damage. Mana Flow gave us back 1,200 mana, plus giving us a bonus 250. Transcendence refunded 26 seconds. Scorch did 1,355. It's a little bit more damage than I was expecting out of Scorch. And then obviously we've got Biscuits and Cosmic. All in all, Velkaz, very similar to playing a brand. You have to position a little bit better, but since you outrange, you have a lot better potential to stall the game out. It just requires a little bit better positioning.